Now to attach the top front of the battery rack to the cycle frame, I'm going to use this attachment right here and right here with some short pieces that come up to the frame. So I've got a piece right here. It's just about five inches long, just some flat steel stock. And I cut it, and then the one edge I cut a little tiny bit of an angle to because um, this is going to be just a little bit of an angle to it. So what I'll do is I'm just going to hold this up in position. I'm going to mark the hole. And then with that hole marked, all I need to do is drill that. I've actually got one already done up right here. So if I stick a bolt through, put that on there, that now gives me a connector piece from the frame up to the top. So what I'll do is I'll put a nut on here and then I'll tack weld that. Now here's another little trick I like. Uh, when this is on the motorcycle with the bolt going through here and a washer on there, what I do, the part I want to grind off, I'm just going to trace around with a marker. I happen to have a purple Sharpie here. But what I like about this is uh, it goes on better than a pencil and it's easier to see. And then I just grind off all the purple. I know my shape is correct. So here we go. This is the mount from our mounting point with the bolt up to the middle section of rack. Again here, here's our mounting bolt and then kind of on the inside of the cycle frame this goes up and then this is going to get welded together. So this whole upper piece here uh, is going to bolt right down here. So now with those welded on, this can just set up on top and our bolts should go right in. There we go. So now what I'm doing is I got a couple of short pieces of pipe and I'm going to cut that into one inch lengths to match up with my one inch angle iron. And then I'm going to weld those onto the battery bracket. And then that way I can just take some threaded rod from the top through these sections of uh, pipe that are going to be welded onto the rack. Something about like that. And then the threaded rod with a couple of nuts and washers is going to hold this whole thing together. Now I've got those little pieces of tube welded on here. I can put the battery rack back on, line those up, and then I should be able to just drop some threaded rod straight down through there. Everything will be lined up. And then on the bottom, I just got to drill a pair of holes down here for the threaded rod to go into, add some nuts and washers, and tighten everything down. Now, one other thing I was thinking on this project was I would just use a piece of angle iron as the top tie down here. It'd just get uh, pressed down this way with some threaded rod. But then I realized this was my last piece of angle iron, and I need two of them anyways. So instead, I did find that here at the Milwaukee Makerspace, in the scrap metal pile is a whole bunch of these, which were originally used for holding computers, um, but it's already powder coated, it's got slots and holes, and it's just about the right size to go right here. So I took one of those and cut it to length and put a couple of holes in it. So with that across there, just add a couple of washers and nuts, cut that off right there. Now I've got a very nice economical battery tie down. It's very wide, it's got a lot of surface area to press against the battery. Uh, it's already painted, that's hard to beat, it's black, it matches. And then the other thing is because it has this vertical part here and the gas tank is going to cover this, I could also use this as an attachment point for anything else that I want to have under the gas tank, for example, the battery charger. So what I might end up doing is drilling and tapping a couple of holes here, and then the battery charger will mount right up against there like that. Just on a side note, here's another thing I found recently I really like. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Sharpie pens, and this is a silver metallic Sharpie marker. What's really neat about it 
is it writes on black. So now the batteries are back in the motorcycle. They're bolted down. Those are not going anywhere without taking the frame with them. Uh, so now I'll move on to working on the gas tank, getting the motor mounted, getting the controller mounted, and cabling everything up after that. <laughs>